Welcome to Max ECU Training Part 41. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up and work with our VTEC programming in our Honda applications. So this is going to be including how to set up our output to control a VTEC solenoid based on conditions that we program, such as engine speed, throttle position, or even map pressure. And then how we can characterize the fuel and spark timing delivery for both low and high cam operation. We'll find we have distinctive fuel needs on low cam compared to high cam. And the same is going to go for spark timing. So we have a lot to cover and take a look at. Let's jump in so we can see how this is going to be set up. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with programming or VTEC activation within our max ECU. We're also going to be taking a look at how we can characterize our fuel and spark timing for both low and high cam operation. High cam would be when VTEC is actually activated. So let's jump in here and talk about the very basic output to set up to control VTEC. This is super easy to do. Um, what we need to make sure is that we have a spare high side output or 12 volt output to send out to control the VTEC solenoid. We'll find that the actual VTEC solenoid has one wire. That one wire will be tied into the max under a high side. We need to send a 12 volt out to activate the solenoid when we want it to turn on or off. That's going to be essentially when we want the VTEC to activate. Now, some things about the VTEC activation, just kind of keep it very simple here. We'll find that when we have the solenoid deactivated or not energized, we have no oil pressure flowing through into the camshaft, into the rocker assembly, and that's going to be riding on the low cam where we have our normal um, operation for idle and cruising situations. So that gives us good idle quality, good drivability, good fuel economy, and good emissions. Now, when we want to go and switch over to our high cam or the VTEC activation, that's where we want more airflow coming into the engine and we want more power. So when we want to activate it, that's when we want to switch on our solenoid. And the solenoid essentially is just a valve. When it opens up, it allows oil pressure to flow through it, going through the rocker arm assembly, going into the locker pins that locks it onto the high cam, allows us to start the VTEC activation and we get more airflow pumping through the engine and therefore we get more horsepower and torque potential. So we'll find the VTEC is actually really, really ingenious, very simple design, but we need to control the output. We need to control when we want the VTEC to activate. So that's the very first step in setting this up. So the VTEC solenoid is going to be a one wire solenoid. That wire, the one wire solenoid is controlled with a 12 volt. So we need to have our max ECU set up on a high side output to be able to send 12 volt to the solenoid when we want it to turn on. Uh, we'll find that the actual solenoid, when it bolts onto the cylinder head, that's what grounds the solenoid. So we just need to worry about 12 volt. Let's go here and take a look at how to set this up. If we go onto the side here and move down here under outputs, we're going to find under output configuration, we need to move into our high side outputs. Now we can go down here to our GPO out 15 and 16 I have available on my particular ECU. We can see here 12 volt driving. 12 volt driving is what we want to use to send a high, high side output. We can look under our normal GPO outputs here. So GPO output one through seven, these are switched to ground. These are our low side output or sends a ground out. We don't want to ground our solenoid. It won't do anything. It's already grounded to the cylinder head. So we need to go and send on that one wire that we would have from our solenoid. We need to wire that into our max to either GPO 15 or 16, depending on whatever is available. Or if you have different pin orientations or what you have available on the box that you're working with, um, you'll have to go and choose that. Now, if you don't have, for whatever reason, on one of your max ECUs that you're working with, you don't have a GPO that's going to be 12 volt and you only have low side outputs, you'll have to use a relay. In this situation, you'd have to go and set the switch to ground would be sent out to the relay to ground the relay. And that would then activate the coil and that it'll go in and turn uh, the, the relay on to send 12 volt out to the solenoid. So if you actually look at the bottom of the relay, there's going to be pins 85, 86, 30, and 87. Pin 30 goes to power. It goes to your bat a battery supply. Pin 87 is what goes to the VTEC solenoid. And we have pin 86 that would go to a 12 volt source that can even go into tie into pin 30. And then we'll find we have pin 85. And that's what you'd wire your GPO output here. So the GPO switched to ground. But ideally, we'd like to use a high side output to eliminate running a relay and having additional wiring in the car. So in my case, I can use a GPO output 15. If you do have to use a GPO output one through seven here, or whatever your orientation or pin locations are going to be for a switch to ground or low side output, um, the program is going to be the same. So how we set this up here, working with either a high side or low side in the next little bit as I'm talking about this will be this exact same thing. It's just going to be if you want to send a ground to control a relay to turn the 12 volt on to the solenoid, or we directly want to drive the solenoid from the actual uh, output here from the, the high side output. Now we do pull less than an amp on the VTEC solenoid to activate it. So we don't need to worry about over, uh, over driving 
this particular high side output. That's always a factor. We don't want to send 12 volt out to control a fan or a fuel pump. It simply can't provide enough amperage. So in this case, the VTEC solenoid's low amp draw, I think it's like six or 700 milliamps, if I recall correctly when I've tested it in the past. Um, so it's not going to be going and damaging the circuit on the uh, max. So the next thing we need to do is actually go in here. Let's assume I've wired my VTEC solenoid to my GPO 15. I'm going to go here to select under GPO 15. I'm going to go down here under user outputs and we have a whole bunch of different options here. We're going to use user output number one. So let's click OK. So if we click on our output one here, it's going to take us into our user output one programming. Now this is going to be generic programming. It's not going to be specific of how this is set up for working with VTEC. So the first thing we want to do under the description here is actually add the name here VTEC so we know what this is going to be assigned to. And then under our conditions here, we have to start considering what kind of conditions we need to activate VTEC. Now at the very least, we need to have one condition, which would be- Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.